What's up everyone? So today I am coming at you with a massive surprise, I know. I am trying another pack. And this is the Nashville Packs Cutaway. The biggest difference on this pack than all of my other packs is there's no hip belt. The shoulder straps are a running vest style harness. I'm really excited to try this actually. I'm not sure if it's gonna be good for me, but um, I wanted to take the plunge and try it out because I do have lower back issues. And even though a lot of people say that the hip belt is really essential for people with back problems because of the load distribution, it can be better for your back. Sometimes I actually find that my lower back seems to hurt more. And so I really wanna to try to have the weight without the hip belt more on my shoulders, but that's why I wanted specifically the running vest style harness is because it can help distribute the weight better. That is the primary reason I got this pack. I ordered this in their newest material. I'm not even going to try to say it because I have no idea how, so it's going to be on the screen. And <laughs> it's uh, whatever the material is, it is completely waterproof. This is a completely waterproof pack. I even emailed them just to make sure of that. So I'll always have my pack liner on the inside, but this actually would eliminate the need to have a pack cover. So anyway, I just got this in the mail today. I have not opened it. So this is a completely first look, first unboxing. Um, and I'm curious. I know I have to put some of this together. So I'm gonna see how this goes. So anyway, let's just open the ship. Huh. Smells, uh, smells interesting. Okay. So this is, I mean, this, this is everything. These are the running vest harnesses. Um, what's this? In the pocket, I've got the straps to connect this. Oh, and a sticker. Everyone likes to give stickers, which I like to get them. More straps. This looks really small, y'all. Now I'm a little concerned. Oh, okay. Well, there's a little more. Okay, roll top, zero frame. Um, I got to pretty much choose. I mean, they didn't have a lot of color selection in this material, but I did go with the white. Um, and then for the bottom pocket, I went with orange. I always like to have... Uh, very bright colors on stuff. Okay, so it's got this nice uh, mesh pocket on the outside. I can tell already that that particular material is not stretchy, but this one is. And then there's a little shelf pocket on the inside. And honestly, I really liked that. Um, I feel like that's just like a really easy thing that you could add on the inside mesh, but I've not seen anyone ever do that. So i um, kind of excited about that. This pocket on the outside is completely open. There's no like separation between the side pockets and the big open space um, in the mesh pocket. This is like a little silky thing. And I've never had a pack that had the bottom pocket, so I'm pretty excited about that. The material does feel good, actually. I mean, it's kind of crunchy or whatever, crinkly. But I mean, that's how my Durston one is. bad on space. It definitely, just that initial smell coming out and now the uh, smell on the inside. I don't like that smell. It needs to air out. <laughs> okay, so now what do we do? So the pack volume that I went with is a 30. Yes, that's small, but on these packs, the 30 is indicative of the actual volume on the inside only. I went with a 16 inch torso because I wanted this to be as high on my back as possible. And then I went with, it wasn't the shortest, it might also be 18 inches, but I went with either a 17 and a half or 18 or whatever it is um, on the shoulder vest because I wanted this to actually come down as far as it could. 
Um, some people that I've, I've seen some people online wearing this where the vest comes down to like here. I wanted it to be a little longer than that. So I went with whatever the medium length of these is. That's what I went with. Okay, I am gonna have to pour this together. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. There's no instructions. Okay. Actually, they have YouTube videos for this. Okay. Well, obviously the shoulder straps connect here. I've got this top. I do like when roll top bags have the Y strap on the top. It doesn't really have a lot of length to that. Um, but that's fine. What I gotta figure out for real is how to attach all this. Um, I think I'm gonna have to look up a YouTube video because I already feel a little confused. It goes like this. Um, and they have all the different, uh, locations for you to customize where you want this. And I know the, the Osprey ones have kind of the, the movable as well. The Durston one is kind of like this, actually. It's very similar to this one. So these three go with these. There's a lot going on back here. I'm, I like, I'm just saying right now off the cuff, I'm, I'm a little confused. Yeah, I haven't looked at those videos for how to set this up since I ordered this. And ordering one of these takes, I think it says it's a six to 10 week delivery time because they have to make it. And I think I'm right at the eight and a half week mark from when I ordered this. So not sure how to put this together. Okay, I'm so sorry y'all, I feel a little slow. <clears throat> but I'm going to work to connect this to here. I need a moment. Okay, yes, I had to pause this so I could go find the instructions online. So it says to lay it out flat and you wanna line up the straps with the webbing. And the way that I'm going to connect these is I'm gonna leave one, the very, the furthest webbing, I'm gonna leave that one open on both sides. If for some reason that's an issue, then I'll just fix it again after I get this set up. So you wanna run these three through the webbing. Let's see, run these through the webbing and then you bring the end back around up through here. Wait, what? Then what? Oh, and then of course loop it through the other side. I don't know why in the world I got to. Is that right? Well, I guess we'll see in a moment. It looks like he was about to do that. I mean, that looks right. Awful long strings. Okay. Really hope I like this pack. I'm really excited to try this out. Okay. And I love that this thing is waterproof, y'all. Waterproof? Oh. <laughs> I just feel like that's such a great aspect. Um, okay. I mean, I've got that connected. I've actually got no idea if that's how I want it. I mean, I don't know. What have I done? I'm so confused. Okay, that one makes sense. That one makes sense. And that one makes sense. That one makes sense. That one makes sense. They should all make sense. I've done the same thing for all of them. I don't know. Well, they, mine doesn't look like that, first of all. I, I don't know how I've gotten so confused on that, my lord. Oh. Anyway, after you finally get those adjusted to where you want them, you're going to push this back up. You're going to take the string and push it back up through the top part so that it's more secure and out of the way. And for some reason, I have just had a difficult time doing this. I don't know why. It makes sense now. I just needed something in my brain to click and say, oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay. 
end result with these shoulder straps is this. Now these are kind of long. I'm a little concerned. Oh, that's what those are. Oh, those long strings go at the bottom of this. That makes sense. Okay. So then you want this facing the bottom with the buckles facing outward towards the bottom of the pack so that the string on each side can be woven through here in a manner that I'm not sure how. Y'all know I had to go look at that one too. Um, this isn't necessarily a tutorial, so please go to their website if you are looking for advice on how to set this up because uh, I'm struggling through this um, and I would be struggling more if I didn't go look up their videos. Cool, these are some really little buckles. Up through the one that's closest to the pack, down through the one that's on the outside. Okay, now I need to do these. Oh, farty. You know I'm going to have to look at that too. Wait, do you literally just wrap it through though? Because... Wait, what? Uh-uh. Figure out what I'm doing, which, um... I don't know. How do I want to hook this up like that? So then it needs to go like this. Oh my. That definitely hooks in there pretty good. This probably isn't nearly as difficult as I am making this look. I'm also not used to having to put together a pack. Okay, those snap into place. That's pretty intense right there. How you gonna how you gonna tighten that? Oh my. Okay. This is another. Yeah, but this one's elastic. This one wasn't elastic. Nope, that one's not elastic. This one's elastic. Why? Hope I'm doing this correctly. <sighs> Come on. Get in there and stay. All right. So only one of them has elastic and the other two are static. See, I might want the elastic one on the bottom. Oh god. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, cool. Yay, I've got that. Uh, the back toggle business is just going to have to wait a minute. What I am confused is where this goes. I honestly don't know where this goes. I really don't know where this goes. Like these wet, these little options right here, you can buy a string that goes across and then you can put a sit pad in there, sit pad in there to help with like, um, have a makeshift frame or cushion or something, but I don't even want to do that right now. Okay, well, seems to be installed properly. So I think what I'm going to do now I'm going to load it up with some weight and some items and try it on, see what it looks like, and then I'll show you. Okay, I had to go grab some stuff. I am, um, oh, the smell inside there. Still going to put this, the pack liner on the inside. This will be the sleeping pad that I use next year on the through hike, so let's just go ahead and try this one. I'm going to keep it folded against the back to help give it a little bit of a shape. I don't know if that's really going to do anything. Well, this is definitely a real version of a first try because I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm doing. <sighs> All right. <laughs> sleeping bag and a stuff sack. This, this is not going to be a perfect pack, but I just want to get this stuff in there, like I said, so I can try a tote. Throw that in there. 
Um, I don't think I grabbed enough stuff. Whatever. Well, I mean, just with that bit of stuff. Takes up about that much space. That was not everything, though. Um, not at all. Next would probably be my food. So, let's just grab this bag of rice that I carry around when I do my pack walks. That's, that's fine. I don't know. Tent. Throw a cinchy in there. Throw my electronics. They actually... The electronics bag would definitely be in my fanny pack if I was using this, but just for testing purposes. Ditty bag and all that stuff. So it's got these snaps. Let me do the snaps first. Compress it down. I don't think that's going to be enough to keep the water out if I can't get it down enough. Oh my. Okay, maybe, yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. Pull that up some. It's very interesting. Okay, now let's try it on. Oh, gonna have to tighten that up a lot. What the heck? I'm confused. Having a hard time. I am having a hard time. <sighs> Fart. I need this to get with it. Get with the program, buddy. Why are these strings so long? Okay. I have to tighten these up as much as they'll go. Actually feels pretty good, but there's not much in here right now, so yeah. Hmm. It's different. Different with no hip belt. 